that I'm going to ask this. Well, there's a Cupy gang here. I think I better ask a question. If, let Cupy ask a question. But we're going to take one Cupy question because I bet they're very similar. Okay? <laughs> All right. Okay. Hi, thank you. Um, we're here today from QP 3903. We're contract faculty uh, teaching assistants and graduate assistants at York University. And we thank the undergrad student who um, spoke on this issue a, a little earlier. Um, we are currently on day three of a strike, as the student um, alerted us to. And for the past six months, our union has been bargaining with our employer, York University, to try and come to a fair deal. Um, we remember in past negotiations when you were Minister of Education and you visited us on the picket lines and we appreciated that solidarity then. Um, so we're here today to ask you a question on the eve of International Women's Day as rank and file members of QP 3903 because we are concerned about specific issues which primarily impact our members who are women, trans and non-binary. York University has thus far refused to fund a sexual violence survivor support fund. It has refused to provide training for educators to respond to sexual violence. It has refused to provide important child care subsidies. And it has refused to provide sanitary and private lactation and breastfeeding facilities in direct contra contravention of Ontario human rights law. Our employer has also refused to engage meaningfully with any of our anti-racism proposals. This is on a university campus that is overwhelmingly populated by racialized undergraduate students Very and diverse, racialized yeah. employees. Yeah. All of our members are facing job loss, job insecurity, and precarity. But for Indigenous women, for racialized women, disabled women, queer women, trans and non-binary folks, these conditions are intensified by the actions um, and refusal to engage of the university. So we are asking that you don't let this dispute go on for five weeks, only to legislate us back to work like our co colleagues at the Ontario Colleges um, with OPSU. Our employment rights are degraded um, by back-to-work legislation and the quality of post-secondary education at York University depends on a fair contract for our workers negotiated through our collective bargaining rights. So we are here today to ask you, Premier Wen, will you encourage our York University President Rhonda Lenton to return to the bargaining table in good faith and take these proposals um, seriously? I encourage, I encourage her and her team I encourage you and your team to look at all the options. You, you are QP. You know the value of collective bargaining. You know that the best agreements come from the bargaining table. So I encourage both sides to get back to the table. As I said to the student, um, we will do everything in our power. We have mediators at the, the uh, ministry who will work in, ev in every way to, uh, to find a deal with, uh, with the two parties, but they need to be back at the table. And we, we really support that process. Now, if that means that you can get a deal at the table, if it means that arbitration is where it needs to go, then all of those are tools that you have at your disposal. We are ready to bargain, and we have provided the Great. university with our proposal, and they refuse to meet us at the table, so it is their turn to come we to will the table. Encourage, we will encourage both sides to get to the table. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank you. Thanks for being here, and thanks for your work. Okay, I just okay, want to... Okay, I'm going to go... Me.